Hello everyone, just a quick one today because I'm not feeling very well. So I went ahead and I changed the um, terrain generator just a little bit and I'm going to show you the, the big difference. Uh, whether or not you prefer the landscape as it looks now or the landscape as it looked before, um, how you build your landscape is up to you and I haven't changed this to tune it to the new uh, version. But basically, in the past I was assuming that our noise field generator was supposed to return between 0 and 1 but it's actually supposed to be returned between negative one and one, which means that I was flattening it and losing a lot of, of uh, variation at the low end, which led to having a lot of flat planes. Now, I actually wanted flat planes, which is why I didn't bother to fix it for a very long time, but you can get flat planes in a, large, in a lot of ways, and you can see that these planes are still quite flat, and that's because we're using the biome method of creating them, and the biome method has something like, you know, if below height 12 then fill it in which creates a pretty stark flat area. Um, I have to massage the rest of these biome fields now that their low end isn't so predictable but all I did and I figure I'll just show it to you since it's only one line all I did was change this line here to this line here and basically I just said well instead of presuming that it that it should be between 0 and 1 presume it's between negative 1 and 1 so add 1 to it and then halve it so it's between 0 and 1 again, but the 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 part of that that's between 0 and 0 0.5 is what used to always be 0, and the part that's between 0 0.5 and 1 is what used to always be between 0 and 1. So I've doubled our dynamic range, but the actual values that get passed are still between 0 and 1. So now the problem I've got is that I'm seeing a lot more slowdown in Unity 4.2 than I saw in the older versions. And I mean an order of magnitude more slowdown. So we may have to go back in and do some uh, inspection to try and see exactly what's causing this slowdown. Um, maybe it's the particle effects. Um, maybe it's the way that the mesh uh, calculation uh, happens. Maybe they reverted the, uh, um, the mesh collider function so that it's slow again. Well, I'll look into that next time when I'm not feeling quite so off my game because I want to be want to be pretty smart for when it comes to debugging stuff like that because it requires a little bit of effort. So in the next episode I imagine that I will show you the debugger or rather the um, profiler. A lot of you probably won't have access to the profiler because I think it's pro only but it's uh, worth showing you at any rate.